Well, Madison has gone along the ride with Oscar Mayer through some ups and some downs. Yeah, I look back now at how Oscar Mayer developed into a city mainstay over nearly a century. The founder of Oscar Mayer was, in fact, Oscar Mayer himself, who worked at a small Chicago meat market. In 1919, he and his brother set out for Madison and bought a plant from a farmer's cooperative. Even these days, most people can identify with the company by its advertising symbols, slick marketing ahead of its time that started back in 1936. Some Americans may still remember Little Oscar, the still iconic Wienermobile, and the Wiener Whistles. No use, men. There's no way to make friends. Wait, my Oscar Mayer Wiener Whistle. <laughs> In the early 1980s, though, the company was also associated with bitter labor negotiations, a wage freeze in 1982, and threats of a strike in 1984. These workers are very upset with this company and very upset with their tactics of trying to divide and conquer. There were stories about layoffs. I work for, to go to school, so I won't have enough money to go to school this summer. Also stories about wage cuts and pickets. Oscar Mayer told workers the industry was changing. In the 1970s, America had become more health conscious, and Oscar Mayer said the demand for beef started to decline. In 1980, the company bought Lewis Rich. Oscar Mayer felt it had to respond to the growing demand for poultry. A year later, another big change. Oscar Mayer was bought out by General Foods. Workers wondered about the future of the Madison plant, and state officials said it was indicative of a bad business climate here. Now, they will become part of a uh, New York situation, and they will make the decisions on where they maintain the headquarters and what they do strictly on the profit and loss sheet. Then there were questions in 1985, when General Foods was bought out by Philip Morris. Yet that year, Oscar Mayer announced a five-story expansion to its Madison offices. We see this as a positive signal to the community that we are going to stay in Madison, that Madison is our home. The plant employed about 3,000 workers when it joined forces with Kraft in 1995. Last year was part of Kraft's refrigerated meals division, which had $3.4 billion in revenue, a little more than the 59 bucks Oscar Mayer made on his first day in that Chicago market.